Connecting a SE7000 Series Room Controller. To add a room controller, first find the Add Device button located under the Explorer tab. Scroll down and find the model number of your room controller. Note, make sure and select the exact model number. Click to select the room controller. The model number will populate in the selection window. Use caution while selecting the device to ensure you have selected the correct amount of devices. One click equals one device. Click Add Devices and then Close. The device will appear under the controller in the Objects column. To learn in the Room Controller and join the Zigbee network, the Zigbee settings must be configured. Select Section Manager and enter the Zigbee Configuration Settings window. By default, the power is set to 5. This is for international standards, not North American standards. Set the power to 18. Next, change channel setting to 25. Also, set the node type to coordinator. Note, one unit within the network is required to be a coordinator. For permit join broadcast, click yes. A best practice is to turn this off upon completion of the installation to make sure that no additional devices will try to join the network. Set your PAN ID hexadecimal number to 1 and PAN ID decimal number to 1. Set the stack profile to Zigbee Pro and the security profile to Home Automation. Note, make sure the settings listed above match and are programmed directly in the room controller as well as the building expert tool. The channel, PAN ID, and COM ID need to be set directly on your room controller. In order to enter the programming menu on the SE7000 series room controller, hold the menu key for five seconds. Once entered, the menu options are as follows. Password set, press yes to change and no to skip. Comm address set, press yes and select a comm address number. It is important to use a numbering scheme that makes sense for each room controller. The comm address is a unique identifier to help with troubleshooting and identification. For example, unit eight should have comm address eight. PAN ID set, press yes and set at one. The PAN ID is a unique identifier for the Zigbee network. Note. All room controllers must have the same PAN ID in order to communicate on one network. Channel set, press yes, and change the channel settings to 25. Exit the menu. With the Zigbee settings programmed on the room controller, as well as the MPM manager, the Zigbee network is now ready for communication. The next step is to bind the room controllers to the MPM manager. Select the device from the Devices column. Scroll to the bottom of the Explorer tab and click Zigbee Settings. Under Zigbee Settings, click on the Bind button. Note, discovering a network for the first time can take up to five minutes. Once the correct device with the matching COM address is recognized, select the device and click Bind. After the device is successfully bound, the extended node ID in the Explorer tab will populate to indicate that the room controller is online. Make sure that the correct COM address matches the intended device. From this menu, the Fahrenheit or Celsius options can also be set. After binding the device, select the data points to be displayed. Note, the points will be displayed in the order that they are selected. Tip. To avoid confusion, follow the same pattern while selecting the object points to ensure that each device's data is displayed in the same order. This will help when troubleshooting and prevent mistakes in programming.